with Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins, and you have a big developments happening in the tropics with Tropical Storm Umberto. Umberto's there. We have 94L, which is an invest in the Northeast Caribbean as well. So a couple things to watch and a lot to go over for the next four or five days. Let's talk about it now. Uh, we do not have any issues with Umberto. We will get some swell from that. Uh, the entire East Coast will get swell. This will be a Cat 1, Cat 2 as it's rounding up in this direction, so it's going to blow swell that direction, okay? This is the one that we want to watch. This one will get a little bit closer. Turks and Caicos, Bahamas over the weekend, Saturday into Sunday, and then what does it do after that? Right now, I don't think Florida is in a, in a bad spot here, okay? But it is something we have to watch closely. Tropical Storm Umberto, 40 mile per hour winds moving to the west northwest at 15, and this one's kind of similar to what Gabrielle did. Gabrielle, by the way, well east of Bermuda and heading out to sea. Finally started to get a little bit better organized today, a la the, the upgrade to Tropical Storm. But look how slow it moves the next 24 to 48 hours, and then it starts to pick up some speed and intensity. By the time we get towards, I think, mid-morning on Saturday morning, We'll likely have a next hurricane. All right, it'll be the third one so far. And then you can see Sunday afternoon, Monday afternoon, cat to hurricane south of Bermuda, which is right here. All right, so again, I think it does recurve. You can see the forecast models pretty much say the same thing. Now, this is for initially they were here, then they were here, now they're over here. All right, so they have shifted to the west, still going for that recurve and keeping it out to sea for the most part. Now, this is the other one. This is Puerto Rico right here. That's Dominican Republic. Uh, watch what happens with this. This one is just not as organized yet. A lot of the convection is down here, but we think the center is just off of Mayaguez, off of southwest Puerto Rico. The forecast models take it across Hispaniola the next 24 to 36 hours. Then when it gets out, Turks and Caicos in the Bahamas Saturday and Sunday, then it'll have a better chance of trying at least to uh, intensify just a little bit. And then again, it looks like it would be good, right? That would be great. The models are all over the place. What's steering this is what's giving us a cold front Saturday. It's this upper level low. It puts a low right here. This is what pulls the cold front through. And that's a great thing for us because if the front gets here, it blocks everything and pushes it up and out to sea. But the, especially this is the European model, get really kind of confused about it. So this is when we get through Wednesday, it tries to take some of it out. You see this dip here? This is the thing that picks everything up and takes it out. But watch what the model does. It says, no, it doesn't all get picked up and it goes towards Carolinas. So the models are not in very good agreement right now about what's going to happen. At this point, I think Florida for the most part is good to go with those two systems, especially Umberto. I'm not worried about that one. But it's something that we'll have to watch every day. It will be east of Florida this weekend. All right, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday, and mainly out in the Bahamas, so we'll keep an eye on it for you.